Hey everyone. Sorry it's been a minute since an update. Kind of been under the weather on and off. Just trying to stay working and regular job. Stay working and then get out here and do this. But I ain't had a lot of time to do this. I've kind of been laid up here and there. But hopefully this week I can get back out here and get some stuff back knocked out. We're going to go to LST just to look around as a spectator. But that's toward the end of the week. Maybe I can get a few hours and a few evenings here and there. Kind of go from there. I can give y'all an update on the video and get back in the routine of things. Thank you. Kind of started on the Sonoma, getting the back set up to hold the manifold valve and the tank and compressors, kind of get that tucked away up underneath the bed or in the cutout spot. I didn't want to cut no more of the bed out, but I'm gonna get it way up in there where I can squeeze it all together. But I uh, decided to change a few things up during the process. So kind of ain't really did no update. It's gonna, I ordered a tank, another tank. I didn't like the raw aluminum tank that I ordered or that I had. I took it out from under a little blue truck. I got over here in my 91 trying to run it, but I might have decided to put a, get a black tank. Anyway, I'll, uh, I think the black tank is AVS. I got it from Speedway. Pretty nice tank. I was kind of surprised. It's a, uh, it's coated pretty good. But uh, let me show y'all some updates. I'm not really got much done, but I'm fixing to start on it. Get some knocked out this week. It was a nice weather. That's kind of the setup I'm going to go for. Tank in the middle there. I'm gonna have my manifold valve, compressor, compressor. But I've decided to put a black tank in there. Might end up getting black compressors also, but. Hadn't, hadn't 100% decided. Went ahead and kind of got my battery somewhat, somewhat mounted there. I got to still put some uh, gussets in there to kind of help support it, but that's where it's going. Bed was already cut out in the center. I'm just kind of trying to keep it all contained to that little cutout. So maybe I'll build a cover over it or something down the road, but still have access to jump start it if I need to or work on valves and whatever else. Plan on running hard line on here. It'd be the first time I've ever ran hard line, but none of none of the cross bracing, that's not in there permanently yet. I still gotta weld it in. But uh it's kinda where I'm at. I'm gonna get started on it.
got this bracket from Winterfab. I got it in my uh, bracket from a manifold valve from Winterfab also. I didn't have the manifold valve welded, but I had these welded. So I decided to, uh, I'm gonna cut them off to just use the plate for a mounting, mounting you know, bracket. That's what I have. Good products. Winterfab, if you had never used them, they got all kinds of full mounts for different valves and blocks and compressors and signs. They got all kinds of cool stuff. But I'm going to trim these off to this. Weld this onto my plate down there where I'm going to mount my compressor. It's kind of where I'm at right now on it. But uh, I may end up changing, may lower my valve just so I don't have to cut more of the bed out. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cut more of the bed out and I'm trying not to. But that's kind of where I'm set up with the battery and all that. But. I'm really putting it together this first time to build as a show truck. Kind of want to get it on the road and just drive it this year and get back in the show scene a little bit. That's kind of what I'm after. It may get blown back apart and, and done completely, you know, frame off kind of deal. We'll go from there.